Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.net and today we're going to jump back into the RPG controller that we're working on and we're going to be looking at one more blend type this week. So let's go ahead, we'll start off with uh, creating a new blend tree. And the blend tree we're going to look at, we've looked at the 1, 1D ones, the 2D simple directional. Uh, today I want to go ahead and take a look at the freeform, the 2D freeform. So let's go ahead, we'll double click it, jump right in. I'm gonna move this over to the left. And right away, we'll come up to the blend type and right here, 2D freeform directional. Now the great thing about this one is it allows you to put uh, multiple animations on the same direction. So we'll start off with something simple. We'll just go with the three animations to move us forward and backwards. So we start off, we'll put idle. I'll throw it in the center. Oh, we've got to fix our parameters. And like I said before, I like my X parameter to be the side to side movement. And I've actually gone ahead and set up two dummy parameters here. I forgot to show this. So the way I've got this set up is with move Z, think of it in unity space. Anytime you move on your Z, you're moving forward and backwards. And if you move on your X, you're moving side to side. I picked those names specifically for this. So let's go in, we're gonna go take the move X for the first parameter and the second parameter will be move Z. And of course the move X corresponds to position X and the move Z will correspond to position Y. I'll go ahead and clear those little nasty errors out. And idle, it's gonna be zero, zero. We're gonna go ahead and get that walk backwards. Here we go, walking. That's gonna go below it and running, or sorry, walk backwards I want right here. And of course, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 0.5, oh, negative 0.5, it's backwards. And we'll come all the way down to the next one and we'll just make it 0.5. And we'll go ahead, we'll just start it up. And as we move through Z, uh, we notice the walk. Now walk backwards is a little bit slower than walk forwards which is fine because I actually like that. Uh, if you don't like it, of course, we've already gone over how to adjust the speed. So I don't know, maybe 1.3. If you want it to be faster, depending on the animations you pick too. It's not so much, you know, copying the exact same thing I have, which is trying to learn from what I've done here and create your own. So let's go ahead and we'll add some runs in there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two more motions. And of course, as you can see, you can actually do blend trees here too. I'm gonna go ahead and move one all the way up here. I've gone ahead and downloaded a run backwards. Let's see if I can find that. Running backwards. And in case people are interested, you should know how to do this by now. If the player, if, if the animation is moving you forward or backwards on the Z, when you're setting this up, you wanna make sure that the only thing down here that has a value that is not zero is Z. Likewise, if the animation is just moving you left to right, you wanna make sure that everything down here is zero except for the X. And of course, if it's moving you in multiple directions, then, well, you'll have to play around with it and get it dialed in the way you want. Anyway, let's go ahead, we'll jump into my tree. I'm gonna go take the run backwards. I'm gonna put it up here. We'll give it a value of negative one. Uh, we need my standard run. And I'm starting to get a lot of animations down here. I might break them up. Uh, go ahead and start putting folders down here, you know, like a folder called run, throw all my run animations in it, a uh, folder called walk, throw all my walk animations, just to keep things a little tidier down here, because I know there's a lot more animations that I'm gonna want, and I can't just have them all in one folder. Anyway, uh, we got run backwards, we need standard run. Put that in, I'll give it a value of one. And now, of course, you know exactly what's gonna happen, right? It runs on the spot. Oh, I'm moving the wrong one. There are no nothing with it. As you see, it's trying to blend into both of them. But let's go ahead. We'll keep this at zero until we actually get some animations on that line. And now we can run forward, run backwards. Uh, now, to be fair, I generally I put these at 0 0.5 for the walks just so you can see them a bit better. But I always prefer them to be in closer. I'd say 0.25, at the moment. but again, it also depends on the animations you want and the setup you're setting up for your game. You're gonna to have to play around with these bios values and find 
know where it is that you want them dialed in for your game. For instance, that point zero nine, I'm probably never gonna want my guy to move that slow in the game, but to be honest, the input that the person's using, even a controller, well, a controller, maybe he's got a, a good enough control of the controller to get it to that speed. But most people are gonna be pushing either 0.5 or full forward, a one. But again, it's depending on your game, how you're setting it up. This is just how you do it. So let's go ahead and start putting some stuff on the X. So we'll start off, well, we'll just go ahead and we'll put all four there. And when I'm setting mine up, I like to have all of the animations that are on one axis together and usually positive to negative and likewise on the other one. So here's all of my, my Y ones or the move Z. And these are gonna be all the ones that are affected by move X or are affected by position X. Some people like to put all the runs together, all the walks together, whatever it is, however you wanna organize it. And this one here, it's great because you can move them around because we don't have a threshold, but pick a way that works good for you and stick with it. So for these ones here, I'm gonna use my strafing animations. So let's start off with strafe left. I'll put that in. Strafe left walking, put that one in, uh, right strafe, that one in, oh, sorry, wrong one. Goes in there and strafe walking. There we go. And of course, the left is gonna be full negative one, or this one is full one. And nope, this was zero. This was negative one. And negative two, five, we'll say, oops, sorry. Negative. And this one we'll just do positive. I'm gonna go ahead and add some fives here because I like them to be, whoops, the same. And here we go. So now, well, let's go, we'll just put this at zero, take a look at the other axis. We can walk and we can run in either one of those directions. We can go ahead and combine them. And there you go. Now, some people prefer this way over using blend trees of blend trees. I usually use the blend trees of blend trees personally. I like this way too, but you gotta understand most of the stuff that I do, I'm, I'm playing around with cubes or stuff that I can make with cubes. A lot of my mechanism experience is usually just with animating UI elements and stuff like that. I don't do a whole lot of character posing, but I do think like this way better. I can keep all of my movement in one blend tree, keep all of my rotations in another blend tree, and I don't know, I think it's just easier to see and work out exactly what's happening looking at it this way. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? I am probably gonna use this one going forward from now on, but I did want you to see both versions because like I said, some people do prefer one over the other. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show off for this one here. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>